Niederberg wines. Can't say I know much about Niederberg, apart from the fact that it's a very famous name. Super, super, super colonial feeling here. But I suppose something that was built in the 1700s, you'd expect that. So it looks like a massive estate. Quiet, which is pretty cool. Uh, not too many people around. So let's get in and see. Uh, we're going wine tasting again. No, it's lunchtime again. Oh, I believe you're hungry again. I know. It's shocking, eh? Well, I only had an eggs benedict for breakfast. It's like three, four hours ago, eh? Yeah, I'm starving now. Can you tell us where we are? Do I? Do you, you have know to? Where, don't you know where you are? Come on. <laughs> you are on Niederberg, Niederberg Wine Estate. Yes. And um, where are we? Where, where's this? Is this? This is Paul. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Try. It. No, no, Paul's good. <laughs> this is Paul, and it's the coolest place in town. What can I go on? Do you tell us all about I, Paul? No, I'm I'm too shy to talk. We are here at Niederberg, at the farm that Philip Pazulfer bought in 90. 7091, welcome to Niederberg. And this restaurant is? The Red Table. We are the Red Table. Well, there you have it, folks. 90% of the manor houses in the Winelands are used for, oh, wrong way, are used for accommodation or restaurants. And uh, I would say 90% of the things in our book are accommodation and restaurants. So, it goes without saying absolutely that Paul is a fantastic place to come and relax, a place to come and get food and wine and a place to have accommodations in areas where you can be isolated but close enough to town um, in absolute fantastic nature settings. This is Paul. I found something on the menu here second item in the starter list and it's called a slap hack skin tiki chi I need your help yes sir okay so this is my translation of this because this is what I think it is it's a slap hack skin tinch chinchi <laughs> a slap hack skin ki that was there slap hack skin ki a slap hack skin ki you are almost right. Almost what right. is it? Because some guests, they can't even pronounce it. Okay, probably. I'm getting really good. <laughs> that is You're Afrikaans. That is Afri mm. a very Afrikaans word, sir. Yes. And, and what is it? It is like small onions that they slow cook. Yeah. Then they put it in a phyllo pastry. Right. And bake it in the oven with a lemon and um, uh, onion mustard dressing. And then they put a little bit of shampoo. None of which is in that description. <laughs> what? That <laughs> is very old fashioned. It's, oh, like right. it's like an old word. Yes. Like a, a, it's like your great grandmother used to make, make that. The way <laughs> granny used to make yes, it. Sir. I've got it. <laughs> sure. What would you eat if you were eating here today? Oh, I like the, I like my king club and I like pork belly. Yeah, like Ooh, pork belly, pork belly always pork belly. jumps out at us. It's got a little fat, but it's nice. Nothing She's wrong with a bit of fat. <laughs> She said you're fat. Yeah, a little bit of fat. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh. Sure, I, I can't say I'm that hungry. Are you, are you really hungry or are you just saying that for the camera? No, I'm hungry. Sure. Aren't you hungry? No. Okay. And we were trying to work out whether the wine came first or the food comes first. Do you choose the wine first and then pick a food? I think you should choose your food and then you decide which wine you feel like with your food, sir. So. Okay, then I have a little a strange question. So the grilled duck breast, yes, sir. What, what, how is that connected to a motorcycle marvel? The motorcycle marvel is a red wine. It's a blend. Oh, it's a wine? Yes, it's a blend. Okay. They call it the motor. Oh, that, that wines are part of the heritage heroes reigns. Right. They made the wines to honor the people that have something to do with Niederberg's history. Okay. The motorcycle is named after Gunter Brunsel, 
He was the first Salamaster leader back in the 90s. Yes. And he used to drive with his motorcycle. I think it was. Um, it's a 250cc BSA motorcycle through the vineyards mm. and checking if the grapes and stuff was uh, all right. Oh. That's why they call it the motorcycle. Marble. I thought it was that he hit a duck whilst he was on his motorcycle. <laughs> oh, the duck wasn't on the motorcycle. <laughs> and, and, and then that's what we got to eat after. No, <laughs> well, it wasn't it's that. A, it's a red plane. That is, that is the anchorman, the hooded shinnen. That one is named after Philippus Hoover to pour the farm in 1791. Fantastic. And the grapes that he planted was Chenin Blanc, that's why they called, named the Chenin after him. This is your motorcycle, the duck one. Ah, the duck and motorcycle. The duck and motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the label though, it's very nice. I want the motorcycle one. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> These ladies are the best. I'm a little bit of a connoisseur, I'll have you know. Um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's not the truth, I'm laughing because he says it every time we get to a new location. <laughs> and then um, you don't get it too close. And then you... No, I don't think so. How's this one? <laughs> are, we mix, are we making a rosé? <laughs> I'm doing it again. I meant to close my eyes. Paul Tourism? Thank you. <laughs> Specifically Karika? Who's, who's been, day. yeah, who's been instrumental, instrumental in drinking in, every day. <laughs> she's been kind of guiding where we go over the last few days of mm. shooting. Um, you know, the, the book is there for us to use. And when we have spare time, we go and find our own things. But she's also kind of guided us a little bit to say, you know, check this out, check that out. And there have been some really good recommendations, especially as Darren said earlier, I think today. Secret. You wouldn't know. The book, even, you see a name and you don't know what it is. It doesn't mean anything until no. you've it seen it and experienced it or somebody you know That's has. That's the biggest thing. The printed media just doesn't do 95% of the places we've visited any justice. You may recall, 16 hours ago, oh. um, that Route 1, the 8 mile route, has close to 90 listings in this book. However, Route 2, the Gentleman's Meander, which was yesterday, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, only 16, oh, the number's right there, <laughs> 16, number at the side, uh, 16 listings. You'd um, struggle to squeeze it into a day, but if you come for the weekend and you're a bunch of guys and you're here uh, for a bachelor's party, mm. spend a weekend because there's a load of stuff to Yeah, do. for sure. That's next, by the way. Look what's coming. Yes, your spring is the spring one. Wow. Oh. Hello. Hi. Yes, Hi. Belly. This oh. is Lisa. Oh, I want his now. Uh, we'll do a half and half. All right. Well, it's very South African inspired. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, but with a little twist. Yes. Like this, for example, you know, springbok. Um, and then the maize tabuli. Yeah. So yeah. Is that the so, part underneath, the white part? Yes, exactly. I'm getting so good at it. I'm yeah. becoming Ooh. a food and wine connoisseur. I've been yeah. here for a few days now. Mm -hmm. I've been skilled. Yeah. Oh, but enjoy the lunch. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. Thank Gentlemen. you for, cool. for having us here. Fantastic. I'm glad that you enjoyed. Thank you. You were brilliant. Thank you very much. I told you you'd get me before I left. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Elton John's on this one. <laughs> Look who it is. It's the Duckman. The motorbike Duckman. Manor House is over there. Old Cellar Museum is over there. Heritage Centre is over there. Picnic area is in the middle somewhere. And we're at the Visitor Centre. Fourteen million tons of grapes. Fourteen million tons of grapes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And yes. we get a lot of German, especially a lot of German guests that come for okay. for tours and tastings. Okay, so yeah. how much red and white do you make? We make 70% red, 30% white, 50% of the wine gets distributed locally, and then 50% goes That's why we know it so well in the zoo, because it's good in our restaurants. Yes. Yeah. That's that's so what I have noticed is there are a lot of awards on the wall. Yeah. Like yes. a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, we started winning awards, especially when Good to Brazil came over from Germany. How long ago? Yeah, yeah, that was in the late 1960s. So they've been winning awards so, since the 60s. Yeah. This other guy on the motorbike. That's the most. They're gonna have Jason to make the ducks. The Jason the ducks. From our ingenuity range, the Spanish blend. So this is Tempranillo and Graciano, mainly Tempranillo. No, that's nicer. I think that's a nicer. Oh, but I, I think, think it comes down to that. <laughs> I must admit, and we've spoken to a lot of people, and it's like we we we've been complaining like. Drinking too much, and everybody's like, "That's why we come here." <laughs> so, cheers. Even though Niederberg is available everywhere, this one is only available here. So you might be thinking, but they don't taste the wine, and they don't show us anything, and they don't give me enough information. The point is, is we're giving you a taster, a taster, a wine taster, <laughs> but the things you can actually do around here in Paul. So the idea is to listen to us a little bit, understand where we've been and come yourself and experience this and not wait to watch a documentary on wine at the Niederberg. So come do it yourself because it's a great experience. Bring the family, bring the kids, come hang out, taste some wine, but uh, don't take our word for it. Come and do it yourself. I don't think there'll be any throwing here. Nah. It's funny. Hi, Dean. Nice to meet you. Lovely okay. to meet you. Hi, I'm Darren. Hi, nice to meet you, Darren. You. So basically, this is just to say that you're going to um, listen to the guide, which myself, at all times. Yeah. Um, you're not going to try and touch any of the cuts. We have no touching policy here. Uh, so our goal is to increase the numbers of cheetahs, get them back into the wild, and increase the genetic diversity in yeah. the wild. Because um, that's one of the reasons why their numbers are so much in decline because there's not enough um, diversity with the, with the genes. We have 15 cheetahs at the minute. Mm -hmm. We also have two leopards and three servals. Oh wow. In other words, Morning. danger. NPO, so we're a non-profit organisation and we are for fair trade tourism certified. So we have a strictly no petting policy here. Mm -hmm. We believe it's much more fair if everything's on the cat's terms Absolutely, um, yeah. and yeah, everything they want to do they can do and we would never force them to do otherwise. Yeah, so no, I think the, the concept of a petting zoo is long gone, right? or it should be anyway. It should be, it should agreed. Be. So yeah, the main sort of objective for us is to um, get the cats back into the wild. So we release, we've now released six cats into Kuzuku um, Game Reserve, which Where's is a that? reserve. It's in the Greater Ado area. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Um, so we've released six there now. They're all doing incredibly well, very, very healthy. Awesome. Um, and that's where they can learn how to really use their natural instincts and learn how to hunt. Mm -hmm. um, so we've found with all six of them, roughly in the first two weeks, um, sometimes less, they've learned how to hunt. The cheetahs that we have here are here for different reasons. So some are here um, because they're older cats, so they're um, elderly, so they're here to retire. Um, this is a sanctuary for them, so it's their forever home. Um, some are here as ambassador cats. Um, some are here as an interim period before they then go to Kazuko. And some are also here because they have special needs and cannot be released. <laughs> this is Libby, by the way. And Libby is a special needs cheetah because she was born with a cleft palate. And she wouldn't survive as a wild cheetah because she wouldn't be able to sort of hunt and eat properly in the wild. It's a big 
It's a big farm actually. It I mean, is. how much space does this place take up? So down here we have 10 hectares and then yeah. we have another 25 across the road for our vineyards. To right. make our own wine. Um, it is privately funded um, by Stefan and Chantel. So they are the founders along with Rihanna of okay. the project. Um, and they had to have a huge passion for conservation, especially for the cheetah and for wildlife in general. And they decided they wanted to put their money to great use and create this project uh, wow. in the Shia. So, um, so yeah, everything helps towards the release program. Right. So anyone that comes and stays here is actively contributing towards the, you know, the conservation of the cheetah. And how can people help? Can they actually donate to you? Or? They can, yeah. They can um, donate, they can adopt an animal. You okay. don't actually get to take the animal home. Uh, <laughs> can I can name them after me? That's more important. No, they all already have names. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you can't rename them. Oh, okay. Um, and volunteering as well is a great way to really contribute. So we okay. get a lot of volunteers, international from all over the world, and we also have um, local volunteers as well. And you can also volunteer for a day. So if you want to just come stay in the accommodation and volunteer for the next day, that also really helps us out. The tour is an hour and a half. Depends which tour you have. So we do have. And I have to add that there are only up to 10 people in a tour and they only do it twice a day, so. So don't just rock up. Don't just rock up, try and make a phone call, try and make an appointment, right? Yeah. No, 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 Bookings don't try, you must. You must, you, you must. should. It's, it's advisable it. to advisable. avoid disappointment, yeah. There you go. Um, nice. We do also offer to come and watch the cheetahs run. So we have a running ah. enclosure. It's great enrichment for the cats. It gives them great exercise and they really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, it's a really fun thing to watch. They are by um, appointment only. Okay. I would definitely come in back for that. We met good, really great people in the last two days. Yeah. Even more interesting people. And I don't believe our happy, happy valley. I'm actually going to call Paul Happy Valley. <laughs> Everybody here is super happy. Everyone smiles. No one's grumpy. That's yeah, been, uh, no, it really is, and that's an important fact for us. Yeah. I know it is for you. Yeah, yeah. I hate grumpy you people. You point them out. Yeah, I pick on them. Actually. Yeah, you, yeah. Uh, if you like, what the hell? Life's short, eh? Don't be unhappy with it. So if you are, you're doing something wrong. Uh, come to Paul yeah. to Happy Valley, where they'll make you happy. You meet the places you go and the experiences you have literally sums up your life. And if you don't do those things, then you're really not having a, the life you should be living.